What's up, Golden Emerald here, and today I am playing FIFA 22 and um, using the create a club feature. I have well, I can't do the players unfortunately. I thought I could with the create a club feature, but apparently you can't. It's just randomly generated players. But whatever. Anyway, managed to spend a day, made myself half a star to be at least realistic somewhat. Put myself in League Two. Replace Salford City because I don't like them. No one really does. And made my rival Stevenage. I might have got the colours a little bit wrong with the kits. For some reason it doesn't let you have the away kits and the same sort of colour. But you get the idea here. That well, what I'm trying to go for. If you look at the kits online yeah, and this is my squad they've given me quite a decent squad even though this is a half a star squad I don't like the formation but I will sort that out first things first as when you join a normal career mode club check the contracts and um, we got loads of players on one year contracts so Let's address that straight away. We do not want problems. Even though all these players are fucking awful, they only give me 23. Oh well. At the moment I'm doing this on trial, so it's only going to be about, what, five hours of content-wise before I actually buy the fucking game. Hopefully I'll continue the series if people watch the YouTube channel and actually think maybe I might even change my channel name and change it to a vlog channel. I haven't really decided that. But this is my local team. And it's the team I support as well. You gotta support your local, you know. Okay, that's contracts done. Have a budget of one million, that's what you like default start with. Which in League Two is pretty good. Most clubs have like six hundred K or something like that. So a couple of clubs that I might have like 1.2, 1.3 because of their like League One level. But we are not. And the expectations you get to set yourself, so Yeah. Anyway, what are the um expectations I set myself? Sign four plays in a youth academy, goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, forward, every position basically is needed, which I agree. Three clean sheets and away matches. One crucial player and make 2.6 billion profit. Avoid finishing in the bottom part of the league because we're half a star, makes sense. And round of 16, that is a very ambitious FA Cup journey. Oh well. It's time to um, look for these players. Let's clear these. And a new instruction for each thing. First team quality. Promising. Do this literally for every position. Centre back. First team quality. Promising. Now let's do midfielders, central midfielder, just in general, because I don't really, I'm not looking for a particular area of midfield like cam, centre forward, striker, wingers. I'm not looking for that. I'm just going to go attacker, and then it will find me these wingers and strikers that I want.
Where are my scouts? There's always one in England, that makes sense. Argentina. Nope, I'm relocating him. I'm going to send him to... No, nope, I can't send him to Italy. Oh, no, I can send him to Italy. Okay. England, Italy. And then I'll send this guy to maybe Germany or France. I think Germany does more like young talents than France does. Just keep with these talents for now. Whatever they find. Why do I find a youth? Youth Academy, what we got? There's not going to be any homegrown players. But you do have... Logi Spick from Slovenia. He can actually, he's actually pretty decent. I reckon he can get somewhere. He got 78 pay, so I can make him into a winger. I'm going to promote him. And the rest, uh, they're, they're just shit. I'll just bring them in as an emergency backup, leave them there. Don't care about them. Put a, promise, put a thing or plan on this and hopefully within like 10 days it should come back with a report. How old is this guy? I believe he was like 17. Here he is, 58 rated, yeah. 425k, I can make a bit of money for the club. Alright, what do I want? Um, position... Well, he's left footed, so I'll make him a left winger, and that'll be done in two weeks. And hopefully, his guy, this guy goes up ratings anyway. I'll be back with the next part when I've scouted some players. First game of the season, and we've got 2 1 win against Leighton Orient, which is nice. I don't care what you have to say at the minute. And these are the signings I've made. Vargas come here. And Alaho's come in. Duke's come in. And Sinclair's come in. Spick from the youth. And that's pretty much it. But it's, it's a big enough difference. Sinclair's going to dynamic potential grow, he's 20, but like, at a 60 rate strike, but he was much older, he wasn't going to really grow that much. Duke's coming on a three. A lot of these players coming on a three. I've gone and scouted the cheapest locations. Japan and India. To wait until the 18th. To get my first Youth Academy scout report back. I'm just going to skip to it. Oh, Sutton away. New team to League 2. I mean, who else? Oh, yeah, Hartlepool. We drew three all. Interesting result. I don't know how the cup works, but I think we're in the next round. I'm going to scout him further. He looks decent. But I'm going to scout these all further. He 
Can someone please buy him for fuck's sake? It's been annoying. Pretty good start, three games, seven points. Surprisingly, we are up there, which is strange. I wasn't expecting that. Nice one, St. Pat's. Give us some more money. I don't want to sell Spick. RB Leipzig's coming after him. He's not even a homegrown adult. What? I mean, homegrown talent. What am I saying? Oh, oh my! Oh my God! I just. Oh, quit. Can't speak for shit. Yeah, look at my manager rating already. I've done enough stout scouting anyway, so... Yeah, I don't want to sell Spick anyway. Our team is not good enough to be challenging this high up. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, they've changed the loaned out thing. Right, how do I check out the development plans? They changed it. Oh, there it is. It's only on a balance, I need to change that. I've changed his position already. Get him with a high attacking work rate. High attacking work rate, or match 4 star, 4 star. Doesn't matter, it takes 2 weeks either way. Wickham Carlisle in the cup. Why? Why the f Wickham's in my region, but Carlisle? What the fuck is that going to be a for an away day? I want him to sell for fuck's sake. Just gonna do that. I can't be asked to go through the negotiation rooms for this.
It's annoying doing this with no music, but I turned it off for copyright reasons. How am I going to do against Wickham? Um, probably going to lose like 3 now. What? Interesting. How am I equals with Wickham? Oh, it's too late for that. Okay, I'm just going to sim this game against Carlisle. Okay, what's going on? Who's injured? Oh, he's got a red card. Okay. Got to play shit right mid. Oh, what now? Fucking international. Fuck's sake. I'm just going to auto-do it. That's our first loss of the league. Surprised it took till September for it. What does Hales want? A centre back at striker. I mean, is Hills can Hills do that? He's 29 years old, I don't really think he could. Why did he say that? Yeah, he does not have the kind of attributes associated with a striker. Why does he want to be striker, mate? It will take the rest of your career to change to a striker. But anyway, I'm going to report back on the youth in a bit. Interesting scenario here we have. So we are in November and I've got a 100 manager rating because I am top of the league. And these players aren't exactly the best for my youth. But they're better than some of the players I actually have in the first team already. So I'm just developing these players as I go along really. This guy was worth 600k, but he's not really that good at the minute, but I'm pretty sure if I develop him a bit more, he might become like 60 rated at 15 years old, and he'll slot straight into the first team at right wing. But I might make him left wing, I just don't exactly know yet, he's just going to be back up. Or a cam, because if he's a cam, he can fit in there straight away as well. Have to see what happens. I really don't know what position to change him in because every single position, except like defensive ones, wingers, both wingers and the cam is two weeks. So I'm just making a right wing because we don't have any right wing backups really. So make him right wing, make him left wing, left mid. Don't really have that much backup there either, so it's better there. He's just a backup goalkeeper for now because the other goalkeeper is a shit. My Japan scouts were awful. But I've gone again, and they're also shit. Yeah, I'm top of the league in November. That is big ass surprise. Anyway, I want to skip to this day because I've selected them as rivals because it's a historic reason. Interesting scenario here. We are top of the league in November. Playing Bristol Rovers, and we're going to play our rivals in December. Mid December, we'll be playing Stevenage. Done my youth, sorted that all out. Got a Chinese guy, pretty good. 
got this left wing back that could actually be a striker because it only takes two weeks for him to be a striker I had a recording that crashed my game crashed in the game against Stevenage I was top of the league then but I'm re-simming it now to that date and I'm gonna see what happens this time I should probably still be in the top two at this point I don't know I had more wins last time I don't think I drew to Bristol Rovers what I do remember is I was top of the league by the 18th of December and I did lose 1-0 to Portsmouth in the cup I don't think I lost I don't think I uh, lost that game but I won that game against Crawley uh, Barrow, yeah, I did not lose that game either. Well then, it's not going as well as the other simulation. The other simulation, I was top of the league all the way up to playing Stevenage, but... I mean... It's not my fault it crashed. Yeah, it's not going as well anymore, fuck's sake. Why has these things happened to me, man? Why? Okay, let's show where we are in the league. We did not lose three two last time in in the cup. We only lost one nil. Okay, we're second. All right, that's pretty good. But we was four points clear instead of being four points behind. We was four points clear. But now they are four points clear. Oh well, I'm not too worried about it. All I'm worried about is seeing how this game against Stevenage goes. Position changes are complete. That's a good change there, 54 to 57. I believe there's another one as well. Where's that left wing back? Oh, I'll have to wait one more week for that, okay. I started with him, I was going to release him as well. But he has like 75 pace. I thought it'd be better to have him as a striker. I'm just going to quick sim this. I don't really care. He's against our rivals. Yeah, we beat our rivals 2 0. Well, are historic rivals? All to do with something that happened on the FA Cup run in 2004. And here's the conversion done. Boom. Okay, that was not as drastic as I expected. He's 54 rated. Second round replay against Crawley. We beat him last time. I just stop obsessing with. Did I promote this guy? I don't even know. Check the youth. Shit. 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 Oh shit. China's doing pretty well on the youth front. This game's not logistical, and the fact that when you you send players to China, you send your scouts to China, it's cheaper to scout in China for some reason. Really does make no sense. Should be cheaper to scout in your own country, but apparently not. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to update in January. If it is where I left it off, then I lost 3 nil to QPR on the third round of the FA Cup. And I sold a player. But now we've dropped to fourth. And now my manager range dropped to 91, but I'm not really worried about that. Anyway, I'm going to update you 
like I think mean, like maybe five games left of the season, that'd be forty one games in, yeah. So this is where we sit, three games to go. Fifth. Oh, our last game's against Stevenage as well. Although, April's not been a good month. Hey, hold on, what was the result against Mansfield? Yep. We did not win a single game, that's great. I do not want to get promoted. How have we done so well? We beat the rivals, we finished fifth. Which means we make playoffs. Sign him up. It's no one really worth of note here. He ain't worth jack shit. The Academy got me a 60 rated cam. This right winger is still growing. Backup keeper, pretty much. But anyway, I'm just going to hope I see someone good. When it comes to free agents next season, right, let's do this team sheets, import team sheet. We're only one star, so Flash Green, Harrogate. Leighton Orient, Mansfield, Newport, Northampton, Port Vale, Rochdale, Tranmere, Swindon, Walsall, and Bradford are all better than us. That's a lot of teams that we somehow managed to do better than. Wait for these playoffs to come. They'll come soon. Exeter away. I think I'll actually get to see the result of this one. I don't want to be in League One anyway. Even though it would give me more money, it would make it a harder time. Yeah, we lost 3 2. But I don't know if there's a way goals on this, but if we win the next one at home. Okay, we lost 3 2 and drew 2 2. And they've won an aggregate, so. Well, 
we just skip to then and see who's been promoted to League One. Port Vale. Hold on, Sutton United got promoted to League One. Holy shit. Alright, now second season in League Two. 